Hi everybody. Hi all my friends. It's Mrs. Bonnie and I'm in our yellow room at church. And our puzzles are still here. And our magnet blocks are still here. Noah's Ark is still here. Everything is waiting for us when we come back together. So I decided with Pastor Ryan that we would have Mrs. Bonnie come on and sing some songs for you and with you. And we're going to do a Bible story too. So crisscross applesauce, get ready to do some singing. I brought my bag and it has something in it. And if you can guess what it is, then we're going to do the song that goes with it. So my first one is a, that's right, it's a candle. So let's sing, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm gonna hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Good singing, friends. Let's see if you can guess the next one. What am I doing? I am putting on some gloves. Big gloves for a big God. My God is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do let me hear ya my god is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do show me a mountain the mountains are his the valleys are his catch your sky the skies are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God will not do for you. Great job. I've got another one in here. This one, everybody know who this is, Jesus. There's a little girl and there's a little boy. What song would this one be? Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus and the children are going to come back out of my bag in a few minutes, friends, for our story. You are such good singers. And I think this song might be one of our most favorite ones that we do. You know this one so well. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I'll stand on guard for the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Spells Bible. That's right. Oh, I remember when we sing this on Sundays. You do such a great job. Thanks for helping me sing today. Today, our Bible story 
is going to be about Jesus and the children. And remember what we say every week, if the story is from our Bible, then it is all true. This is a true story that Jesus wants you to know about. Okay, now I need you to crisscross applesauce again. It's quiet time now. We're going to get out our little fingers. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point it to the ceiling, point it to the floor, and lay it in your lap, lap, lap. One, two, two little fingers, two little fingers, two little fingers, tap, tap, tap. Point them to the ceiling. Point them to the floor and lay them in your lap, lap, lap. One, two, three. Now we have three little fingers, three little fingers, three little fingers. Tap, tap, tap. Point them to the ceiling. Point them to the floor and lay them in your lap, lap, lap. One, two, three. Four, four little fingers, four little fingers, four little fingers, tap, tap, tap. Point them to the ceiling, point them to the floor and lay them in your lap, lap, lap. One, two, three, four, five. Now we've got five little fingers, five little fingers, five little fingers. Let me see you clap. Clap, clap, we're gonna point them to the ceiling, point them to the floor and lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Okay, our fingers are all finished. They need a little rest. So I would like you to sit them quietly on your body and Miss Bonnie's going to get out her story all about how much Jesus loves you. I'm going to open it up to the special page. Here we go. Every day, Jesus was busy. He made sick eyes see. He made sick legs walk. Every day Jesus was busy. He talked to people. He told people how good God is. Every day lots of mummies and daddies came to hear Jesus talk. Grandmas and grandpas and friends came too. And some days there were so many people to get inside a house that the mummies and the daddies and the grandmas and the grandpas and the friends stood right out in the sunshine and listened to what Jesus said. One day, somebody asked, do you think Jesus would put his hands on our boys and girls and pray for them? Do you think that he would? Somebody else said, yes, I think he would. So down the street they went and the mummies and the daddies and the grandmas and the grandpas and the boys and the girls all went on their way to see Jesus. Uh-oh. Jesus' friends saw them coming. Jesus' friends said, No! Do not bring the children to Jesus. He is tired. He is too busy. 
when Jesus heard them say that, he did not like that. That made Jesus sad. He said, bring the children to me. Jesus said, yes. Then Jesus reached down and he picked up the boys. He picked up the girls and he gave them a hug. He put his arms around them and he loved them. He put his hands on them and he prayed for them. Jesus' Jesus's friends thought, oh, Jesus is not too busy for the boys and girls. Jesus loves them. And after that, the children had all seen Jesus and sat on his lap. The daddies and the mummies and the grandmas and the grandpas took their children home. That's the end of our story. Now, I thought it might be fun, friends, if we just acted out the story on our table. Now, if you would like to act out the story at your house about Jesus and the children, you could use maybe your stuffies for children and Jesus. Or some of you made Legos this week and showed them to Pastor Ryan. Maybe you could make some Lego people and a Lego Jesus. Maybe some of you might like to draw them on a piece of paper and have put some popsicle sticks on them on the back and they could walk like children. I am going to use some people from our dollhouse here in our yellow room. So I have Jesus. We'll put Jesus right over here. Here. There he is. Do you see how Jesus' arms are stretched out? He's just waiting to give you a hug. So we're going to get out some of our people and children. Here we go. Put them right over here. They are all different colors and they are all different sizes. Some have on purple. I don't think, here we go. There's another one. And we need, oh, look at this little one. He has a frog in his hand. And there's a daddy. And here's a mummy over here. And we can't forget our babies. There's a baby. And I think that that just about does it. One more baby. One more daddy. So let's tell our story. <clears throat> Jesus had spent a long time talking to the people. He wanted the people to know how much God loved them. When Jesus was finished talking, he went to go and sit under a tree and have a little rest. The people, the mummies and the daddies and the grandmas and the grandpas, they loved hearing stories from Jesus about God's love. Then somebody said, I have an idea. Do you think Jesus would give our children a hug? Do you think he might? Let's go see if we can find him. So off they went. You can turn your 
children and your mommies and your daddies and your grandmas and your grandpas this way, this way, baby. We're going to go and see if we can find Jesus. Here we go. Jesus, there you are. Hello, Jesus. But Jesus' friends, what did they say? They said, stop. Jesus is too tired. Jesus is too busy. He does not have time to give your children a hug. He does not have time to pray for your children. Jesus listened to what his friend had said. Jesus said, I have time. I'm not too tired. I want to see these children. So Jesus said, yes, I want to see the children. Come, let me, let me hold you on my lap. Let me give you a hug. So the children went up one by one and Jesus hugged them. Jesus prayed for them. Jesus said, I want you to know how much I love you and I want you to know how much God loves you. And Jesus took time for every single child. He loved them. Even the little babies, Jesus loved and Jesus held the little babies because Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight because Jesus loves the little children of the world. Can we get in our prayer positions? Let's get in our prayer positions. Dear Jesus, we thank you for keeping our church safe while we are away. Please keep healing Blenheim and all of the people from this bad bug that's making some people sick so that we can get together again. Keep us safe, sweet Jesus, and help us to remember to talk to you and help us to remember how much you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I will see you another day. Thank you for listening so much. And remember, I love you too. Bye-bye.